Greetings. Thank you, Steam. Forget you. Let me try that again. Greetings, ladies, gentlemen, barbarians, fellow tropicans, and merchants alike. And I welcome you to Let's Play Reketeer, and I am Shop's Tale. Kind of a weird one, I know, for me to be doing a Let's Play of. But, I said I would, and I shall. Along with Tropico 3 and Plants vs. Zombies, eventually. So, let's start a new game and let's see how bad voice acting I can do. Now loading. Oh, for the love of... She's still asleep. Does she really need not understand how important today is? Careful. Can't eat another... <laughs> okay. Sorry. That was terrible of me. Careful. Can't eat another bite. Yeah. But I can always find room for yummy candy. That's my best attempt at a little girl. Wake up, please! Who was it? Would you put the Oh, dear! G good morning! We do not have time for good morning, Hackett. Are you planning on spending the rest of your life dreaming of sweets? Today is the day we set for opening the store. Uh, we did? Oh yeah, we did! The day of all the... Listen, go wash your face and make yourself presentable. And then join me downstairs in the storefront. Okay, I'll be right down. Hey, sorry for keeping you waiting. Okay, dear, let's open the store right now. Capitalism! Oh! Patience, racket. The needs of virtue. It is a virtue you will need. We need to take care of a few matters before opening officially. Huh? Like what? Well, I somehow doubt that a store without anything to sell is going to attract all that much business. Uh... Oh, yeah, we don't have anything to sell! So, uh, what do we do? To start with, we need to establish a stock of items for the store. If we have nothing to sell, we can cannot claim to be much of a shop. That's true. Hmm. So, where should we go to get stocked up? The best way, I think, would be to visit either the town market or the merchant's guild. We need to give our regards to the head of the guild regardless, so that probably should be our first stop. Ew, that... <coughs> Blah. Ew, that's a... <sighs> now try that again. Boy, you better just stop wor before you get yourself... In I can do it! I can do it! Ew, that... Ew, that's the place run by that old guy, right? The guild operates as a wholesale for local merchants, so if we stop by, we can purchase an initial stock. If we, it would not hurt to grovel or give our polite regards to guild chief either. Especially since the guild of the organization that allows us to operate here in the first place. Okay, got it, and let's go right now! 
want to leave this shop, head to the front door, currently located in the upper right hand corner of the store. Ah, uh, but I want to leave the window like an action hero. To eternity end! Work it! Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so, Racketeer, it usually doesn't lag as much <laughs> when I play it, it's probably the recording software, and I wouldn't put it past that. So, hit button 1 in front of the door and, can't go anywhere, I want to go to the pub. Well, I guess we have to go to the merchant skills to, you know, plot and stuff. Hello. Hmm? A girl and a fairy. You two are. Yes, your record and that loan shark. Well, that is not, well, an incorrect statement. Could I ask that you refrain from calling me a loan shark? That's right, mister. She and I are partners. Don't be mean. Ha <laughs> ha Forgive me, forgive me. Partners it is, then. So, how uh, are the preparations for running a shop coming along? Quite well, thank you. In fact, we plan on opening today, so we're stopping by in order to show our gratitude f for your help. Aha! Very good. You two know what's what. If you have any problems, let me know. I'll be glad to help. We appreciate your kindness, thank you. Uh, we appreciate your kindness, thank you very much! Not a problem at all! So, you came straight here to pick up some merchandise, right? Well, up to the counter then, let's get you two sorted. This is our first time stocking up. Our funds are limited, so don't go completely overboard. I recommend purchasing no more than 10 items. Ayo. Okay, explanation time. Buy, sell, talk. Do I need to explain it? Selling off excess stock. You can talk to him. Yeah, I'll talk about that later. Let's just get this show on the road, shall we? Let's buy something. Hmm. A worn out dented chip sword. Still better than going to the wild bare handed though. Yeah, let's buy one of them. For Okay, the currency is picks and purchase price 140. I'm possessed one. We just bought one, so we now own one. A standard lightweight longsword. Perfect perfect for novices learning the art of sword play. Well one pitch staggered, still usable for practice at least. A knife used by craftsmen everywhere. Good for carving wood, clay, meat, and the occasional burk. I don't get that joke. <laughs> Made from wood from the holy site. Very good at helping novices working on spool. Handcrafted magician stats. And or tool of any spell user. It is a glade bow made of wood from the forest kingdom. Essential tool of any archer. Quintessential veteran's bow. Requires a bit of strength to pull. Long enough to be useful even if it's lacking in the sharpness department. Common among rookies. <laughs> Laundry pole. <laughs> Iron spear. The standard tool of many adventures. Also quite handy at knocking down low hanging fruit. Great for protecting your hands and they're very comfortable. Not so great for punching though. Round of the mill clothes. Remarkable only in how unremarkable they are. Semi tough jacket made for athletes. Provides a wear <laughs> with decent fortune while keeping them mobile. And yeah. This game does have good humor with a lot of its wording things like like heavy yes reliable definitely <laughs> the go-to armor for the fire type weight trains your muscles too all these different items we can buy technically we're gonna get a tutorial item but yeah let's stock up on a couple basic things helm People tend to want hats. And for our last purchase item. Uh, 
And... And a leather glove. So now we have 55 picks up, we can sell excess stuff. Obviously for less than what we just bought them for, so... No way we're gonna sell them. Well, come back anytime! Right then, will that be all? Yep, this is perfect! Shall return when our stocks run low again. Aha! I'm looking forward to it. Here, a little something extra. As a startup gift. A tutorial item, piece of bread. Yay, walnut then. Thanks a bunch. Worth 100 picks. <laughs> Alright, little lady, give them your all. Capitalism, oh! Well, Adam Smith would be proud of us at any rate. Good old Adam Smith. He loves you in this game. Kind of. We'll get to that later. We're in a little bit, actually. Now, loading. Talking. Very well. It is time for give you a crash course on the basics of running an item shop. Okay, what do I do first? First, we need to put some items on display. If we do not have our goods out for the people to see, we can hardly expect the customers to buy them, after all. So I just need to get near these counters? Just so. Once you know where you wish to place something, choose what you wish to place in that spot by pressing the primary button. Primary button? You will understand when you try it, trust me. Now, remember, what you place will affect how people perceive the store. So think carefully before you place something. Right! Now then, to start off, why not line up what you purchased on one of the counters? Okay! Move, thank you. Okay! press your primary button, whatever you have it configured to, button 1 or whatever, and you get this screen. And you select what you want to place down. Let's place down the one sword, or worn sword. Rocket, may I speak with you a moment? Sure, what is it? It's very slow. <laughs> this counter is by the window. Items you place there are visible to anyone passing by on the streets. As such, putting eye-catching items, the sort of thing that makes you think, I want to buy this more than anything, on those counters, is a core principle of running a shop like this. In a very real way, those counters are the faces of the shop, and what is placed there greatly affects interest in our business. So choose what to place there very, very carefully. Wow, I never thought of it like that. Okay, I'll be careful. Yeah, my voice is, is not the greatest thing. Let's put the walnut bread because we need to. <laughs> the glove. Wool hat. One helmet. And souvenir charm. So basically, it place everything you got. Alright, that should do for displaying our wares. Are you sure it doesn't look dumb? I don't do not worry. Everything looks good enough for a first attempt. Now I need to teach you how to actually sell things. Please go sit at, at the counter. Right oh Yeah, this is lagging like heck. Sit down and start to sell stuff. Do, 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 do. There I go, breaking that rule again. Well then, the item's in place, and now you need to learn how to actually sell things to people without embarrassing yourself. Okay, yo! Oh. So, to start with, I will lecture you on the actual process of selling an item we have displayed. Yes, Professor. If the student does not listen, they do not get any credit. Er, er. Right. Now then. When customer enters, be sure to greet them with a nice big welcome. 
uh, uh, oh. Welcome! Greeting the customer helps them feel comfortable and relaxed while in the store. Their comfort is fundamental to our business. Invert that as we continue. Now, a difficult customer will find an item they want on our displays and then they will come over to the counter to pay for it. Let me demonstrate. Could I get this, please? Er, uh, um, uh, uh, what they will, what they will want will be in the target window. You'll also be able to see the name and base price. Pay close attention to that base price. Also, if you plus button three, you can view expanded information on the item in question. Consult the custom.exe program included with Racketeer if you wish to check or alter your button configuration. Oh, wait. Button 3? Custom EXE? <laughs> Focus, Racketeer. Your life is hard enough to control as it is. Uh, uh okay. Now then, next you must decide what price you wish to offer. In general, you want to try and name the price higher than the base. Try naming the price, if you will. Uh, let's see. You likely notice that the base price serves as your default. To raise your offer, press up. Press up. Okay. That's a generally good price. I'm gonna totally read that right now. About 130, 120 is the general range if you want to make money. <laughs> and say one ten to one fifteen is where you want to actually be if you wanna increase people's pockets. Okay. Yes, very good. That is how you adjust your offer. As might be obvious, if the customer is satisfied with your offer, it is sale and you'll get a little bit of experience along with the money. If your price is too high, however, a customer can simply walk out. Learning to determine their proper price, there lies the challenge. Now, if a customer disagrees with a price, but it's not so much that they will want to storm out, then you can negotiate. Remember what I said about comfort earlier? That is key here. Offer a price, but do not make it so outrageous that the customer feels you are not acting in good faith. So if they disagree but stay, offer a new price. Ideally, you will lower your offer a little and they will take it and, they and give you a sale. Some customers may just be trying to sniff you out of a better price when they are really willing to lay your initial price, however. Whether or not you risk testing that possibility is up to you. How long you can keep haggling? Well, that depends on how regular a customer is, the person in question is. As we are starting out, we will not be able to haggle for very long. But after customers begin to trust you a little, you can haggle for a longer period of time. Well, time to put theory into practice. Um, okay. Ah, welcome. Could I get this, please? Okay, I picked a, I pick a price, right? Needs to be higher than the base price. That button. Uh, good. At this level, a customer will likely buy immediately. All right, then now for the fine art of haggling. Theoretically, what we wish to do is lower your price slowly. But as I mentioned, there is a limit to how long you can haggle. The idea is to reduce customers' desired price and go from there. You say deduce the desired price, but how do I? A large number of stores sell about 30% over base price. It's not a hard and fast fool, but people usually accept that price level. Usually. If you manage to go l over that, he'll make a lot of money, but you do not want to risk driving away a customer. Right then, so as a customer, I am haggling. Could you make it a little bit cheaper? Okay, I gotta make it cheaper, but not too cheap. And you make it cheaper by going down and going down and 
Yep, lag. Here we are, reducing the price so the level makes the sale likely. Well, that covers about everything. Now let's put the entire lecture into practice all at once, oh god. If you can still me and I am, you'll be ready for what lies ahead. Let us begin. Hello, welcome to Rekatee. I like this, please. 133. Hmm, could you make, go a little lower, perhaps? Yes, an excellent price. Thank you so much! Yay, I sold steel sword for 3,800 pips. Excellent. Let's do that one more time. Just, oh god. Get me out of this tutorial! <laughs> Hello, welcome. Blah. Yeah, he went for voice acting. Hello, welcome to Racketeer! I'd like this, please. How much should I. Yes, an excellent price. Thank you so much! Yay, yeah, sold steel so for 3,600 picks. Explicitly done. If you even wish to practice again, simply ask me anytime you're in the shop. And that is essentially how it goes. You're quite good for someone who has never done this before. <laughs> really? We still have a little bit of time left today, so let's go ahead and open this shop properly. If anyone comes in, simply ha handle them the same way that we just practiced. Whoa, are you sure this will be okay? Do not worry, as the saying goes, salesmanship is more of an art than it is a science. You learn it as you go. Now then, I will open us up. Go on and sit at the counter. Okie dokie! Okay, day. Hello, random woman. Hi there. Well, this is nice. <laughs> okay, that was like, very old lady. Like, <laughs> no, that price isn't right. Yes, it is. Yes, that doesn't smart, right? <laughs> See? Lying woman! <laughs> I knew women lie. Thank you so much. Yay, I sold walnut bread for 120 bucks. Congratulations, you did well. I sold stuff. I mean, wreck it. I sold stuff. Like, to people. Hey, Tear. I. I'm so happy. I. I did it. Tear, I did it. Papa. I did it. And that's how we started running an item shop. Oh, you're wondering why we started an item shop at all? Yeah, it's gonna be a long part. Lag fest. Well, to explain that, you need to understand how Tier and I first met. <sighs> Lag fest. Lag to umpteenth degree. Easy Game Station presents. A tale of fairly blah. A tale of fairy a girl. And how to run an item shop. Do 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 do. 
Racketeer. Not. We're gonna get into a joke with that later, but. Yeah, I won't spoil it for you guys. Let's see. Yep, the calendar says it's been three months since Papa left. I don't get why he suddenly said, I'm gonna be a hero! And then took off without saying he'd be when he'd be back. I really hope he's okay. He's getting lonely. Well, I shouldn't worry too much about him. Let's think about him is how tough he is. He'll be okay. Blah. What? <laughs> okay, Papa would not. Who is that? Yes. Who is it? Huh? There's nobody here. Wait, what? At my feet? Good evening. Um, you are Mademoiselle Racket Lemagrass. Uh. Is this fairy? Pardon me, but I have. I'm the one asking questions. Again, you are Racket Lemongrass? Uh, um, yes, I'm Racket. My name is Tyr, and I am the agent of the Return Finance Company. Finance Company? I'm here to collect payment on a loan paid out to your father. Here's con contract in my identification. Uh loan, repayment? I uh in plainer terms I'm here to get our money back. If you're incapable of soliciting repayment, this house will be seized as collateral in order to repay the loan. Facilitate collateral to <laughs> seize w w w what? But, 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 but I, I, but, I, 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 Papa, Papa isn't, he's not here, uh, yes, I see that now. And Sir Lemon Grass disappeared following a fiasco, fresca atop the local volcano, so we assumed he might have returned here. Even if he has not, however, the con uh, covers this eventuality. Covers this? Quite. As sole remaining member of his household, he shall require that you pay his debt in his stead. Hey, what? But that's... How am I supposed to do? I... Ba I barely have enough money to live by... by myself. Naturally, we are not demanding it all re be repaid at once. There is still a small amount of time before any payment is due. Therefore... A am I going to get sold out in parts to distant foreign lands to repay Papa's debts? I wonder if I can survive with only two internal organs. If I eat a lot of spinach, then I can... That can replace my blood and... Oh, but I don't want to become a sailor. What am I gonna do? Ah, Popeye the sailor man. Ahem. Please listen to me for a moment. I have no clue where you are getting these ludicrous ideas from, but I would never do such a thing. Quite the opposite, in fact. I was sent here to ensure that you wouldn't have to resort to such, well, absurd methods to pay us back. What? I have been sent to support you in the fullest of my abilities so that you may repay the debt via labor. What? But I, I never worked a single day in my life. Expertise has no bearings in this case. All that matters is whether or not you are willing to work. Uh, if you do not wish to work, then... That is it, the house is terms. And I will have to ask you to leave the premises. As the saying goes, those who do not work, do not eat. So, Miss Lemongrass, which will it be? Work, 
for the house. Uh, I'll work then. It's funded. But I didn't even know what I could do. Actually, I've already had an idea on that front. You're aware, of course, that the city is an adventuring hub. In addition, this house faces onto one of the main city lanes. Therefore, I promise converting the house into an item store. Item store? What? Really? I don't sell lemongrass. It's only going for a little while to do market research. Where could she have gone? <laughs> I'm, I'm being silly. Of course she fled. Why would she not? All I did was threaten to take it away everything she ever knew and loved. Asking her to turn the house into an item shop was foolish. You have to to repay the debt. The poor girl must be terribly confused. And on top of that, her father is probably... Wait. Outside? Yemus! It's done! Hey, dear, look! It's done! What? Is that? It's our shop sign, of course. Doesn't look cool. You can't be a shop without one of these, you know. Yes, well, it's quite well made. However, <laughs> I always been good at making stuff. Be that as it may, all the sign is nice. I huh? Is there a problem? Well, the name. Y you are quite sure you've thought that through? Well, we're partners, right? You said so. So put Racket and Pier together and Racket Pier! Isn't it neat? Well, as to say, the sentiment is commendable, but... It's the two of us opening a store. The name should reflect that, right? You, you don't like it? Really, it's not that, but, well, it's that. Then it's decided! Racketeer Ho! Racketeer. Let's pronounce it even slightly in Racketeer Racket. This job is going to be more di absurdly difficult than I originally suspected, I, I fear. Good old racketeering! <laughs> and so, a fairy suddenly entered my life. One thing was for sure, this wasn't going to be dull. When are we gonna get the action? Wait. On it. Day. How's it possible that to sleep this much each day? How? Yeah. Mm, let's do the very best we can. Racket, wake up! Who's on first? What's on second? Ah, no, it's on third. <laughs> third base. <laughs> oh dear. Good, right. Good. Good morning. Clock does not have a good morning hand. Racket, you're the pro proprietor of an item shop now. You must learn to be responsible and not sleep the day away. <laughs> right. Why in the name of heaven are you smiling so much? That smile you have just get. Yeah, well, something is just getting bigger. Oh, no reason. I just think I saw something nice in my dreams. Dear, let's give it our all. Well, if you really are dedicated to making this work, 
Wash yourself and meet me downstairs. Uh, will do. Day two. <laughs> So, I have an item shop. And stuff! It's all cool and awesome! So, uh, what do I do now? That is up to your judgment. If you set it to counter, we can open immediately. Or we can reorganize the shop, or we can just even go search for new shop, stock around town, or elsewhere. Yikes! That's a ton of options. How do I choose? As I said earlier, running a place like this is more of an art than it is something you can simply follow a map through. So we'll pick something. We'll deal with what comes. Well, okay. And that's gonna be the end of this part. <laughs> yeah, long part. Didn't get into any combat, we'll get into it. But, thank you for watching, and here's my previous save files, and save file 10. <laughs> Sorry for hitting the mic there, and I'll see you again later.